This is insane. This is literally going to change how people run their photography businesses. Write me a blog post about boudoir client session. That was so fun. Write this in a casual tone. Last week I had the pleasure of working with a boudoir client at my studio in Los Angeles. Let me tell you, it was one of the most fun and enjoyable sessions I've had in a long time. This sounds just like me. First off, this client brought some amazing outfits to the shoot. This is insane. This is literally going to change how people run their photography businesses. So in this video, I'm going to give you five different ways that you can use the software to level up your business in this totally insane, unfair way. And definitely watch till the end because I'm going to be talking about some of the caveats and the a few of the more dangerous things that I think are actually going to come out of the software. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Sasser, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles. And I was honestly debating whether or not even to make this video. I mean, this is really going to give such an unfair advantage to the people who use it correctly. If this is your first time to the channel, I've been a professional photographer for 16 years, specializing in boudoir for nine. And now I spend most of my time uh, making these videos, creating courses to help photographers go from like an example is making their first one or $2,000 sale all the way up to earning over $300,000 for the year of 2022. But there are still parts of running a photography business that I don't love. Coming up with marketing copy, uh, the about me sections of my website, coming up with Instagram captions, blogging. Do, do people still blog? Do you, do you still blog? And so many more that can now be done basically for you, for free, with AI. Now, hold on, because I was skeptical too. I mean, how dumb would I have to be to think that an AI could do my job better than I could? So to access it, you're gonna go to chat.openai.com. You'll need to sign in. Uh, I did it mine under my Google email address. You can create a new login, whatever you want to do. Now, since I'm a boudoir photographer, I'm gonna use a lot of these prompts as if I'm a boudoir photographer, but you can switch that to family photographer or wedding photographer or whatever it is that you want. So if you've ever had difficulty coming up with an Instagram caption and believe me, I'm right there with you. This is going to be a great tool to use. Just give it a couple of different pieces of the photo shoot and let it go to work. So I'm just gonna ask it here, write an Instagram caption about a client I photographed who did the boudoir photo shoot for her 30th birthday. She left feeling amazing. The other thing that you can do is you can tell it how you want it to write the text. Do you want it to be excited? Do you want it to be nervous? Do you want it to be professional? Do you want it to be casual? So let's see what it comes up with. All right, it knows it's an Instagram caption, so it knows not to make it super long. Feeling like a whole new woman after her 30th birthday photo shoot. My client absolutely rocked it and left feeling amazing, confident, and beautiful. Happy birthday to a stunning woman inside and out. Pretty good, nothing crazy. It even comes up with our hashtags, beauty at any age, I love this. But what you're gonna learn about this is it's a chat system. So, so I asked it for something, it responded, and now I can ask it again for a variation or something like that. So let's try it. All right, so now I'm going to ask it to make this a little longer and make it sound like I'm so excited about the shoot, I can't stand it. And this is what's incredible, you know, whatever it spits out, if it's not quite how you want it to be, then you can just ask it to make those adjustments. You don't have to go start from zero again. So here we go. I'm still on cloud nine after yesterday's boudoir photo shoot with my amazing client. She absolutely nailed it and left feeling like a whole new woman. This sounds authentic, this sounds real. And all you have to do is give it the pieces and tell it in the style that you want and it will deliver to you a written version that's like, that's amazing. So it's basically like having your own personal copywriter at your fingertips. For any of you photographers who have a private Facebook group for your clients, past clients, potential clients, this is going to help us get some ideas for what we can put inside of our Facebook groups. How can we get some engaging posts? So let's ask it. Something relatively generic. What are some good posts for a small business in Facebook groups? I mean, look, these, are, these are good. Okay, product or service promotions, share information about a new product or service. Uh, yeah, that's pretty generic. That's probably something that you'll do. Industry or news updates, anything interesting that's just happening in the industry. Customer testimonials, very important behind the scenes content. That's good. Tips and advice. All right, let's pretend I'm a wedding photographer for a second. 
Got out of that game. I got out of that game. All right, write me a Facebook post for number five for a wedding photographer. Tips and advice, let's see what it does. Okay, this is great, a quick little tip. Wedding planning tip of the day. One of the most important things to consider when choosing a wedding photographer is their shooting style. Do you prefer traditional, posed or candid, photojournalistic? Make sure to ask to see a portfolio of photographer's work and choose the one that aligns with your personal style. It's really only limited by the prompts that you give it. And this is going to be the new differentiating factor of how people use this. It won't be how well can you write, it'll be how well can you prompt something to write for you. All right, now let's move on to the most dreaded part of any website for every photographer is writing your about me page. Now I hated this process. I tried to write it, do I write it as like, Hey guys, I'm Mike Sasser, the war photographer in LA. I like Girl Scout cookies and, and taking pictures. Or do I write it in like the third person where it's Michael Sasser is a professional boudoir photographer and he's been photographing clients for nine years and on and on and on. I just. I never know what to do and I never know how to write it. So if you wanna give this a try yourself, I recommend that you write down a few different things about yourself. So I asked it to write an about me section for me. I'm a boudoir photographer named Michael. Here are some things I'd like to include. So write down your why for why you do photography. Is it wedding photography? What do you love about wedding photography? Why did you get started? Is it children photography? What do you love about photographing children? Why did you get started? Why did you choose that over your other forms of photography? Throw in a couple of fun little personal things. I like chocolate and Girl Scout cookies. So let's go ahead and see what chat GPT comes up with for this. Okay, brilliant. It wrote it in that third person, which I do not want. It's also really long. Okay, this is uh, this is just hilarious. Write this like I'm talking to my best friend and keep it playful. Here's some things I would like to include. Here's Chad GPT's. Hey bestie, so you know me as Michael, but my friends call me the boudoir king because I'm a professional boudoir photographer. I used to shoot weddings, but realized that while these photos were nice for memories, they didn't really impact people's self-esteem. With boudoir, I'm able to empower women to feel confident and beautiful in their own skin. That's a feeling I can't get enough of. It's amazing to be able to make a positive difference through someone's life, uh, a positive difference in someone's life through my art. Now, while there's a few things in here, like boudoir king is a little bizarre and I would probably change, they didn't make an impact on people's self-esteem. I might change the way that they see themselves or their perspective of, of themselves. But the rest of this is actually pretty good. You know me, I'm a foodie through and through. I can't resist good chocolate, whether it's dark or milk, doesn't matter. Don't even get me started on Girl Scout cookies. Thin mints, oh my goodness, this would actually be tagalongs. Where's my tagalong club at? So this is just such an incredible way to use it again as a starting point. I don't expect any of this to be word for word, push the button and then you're done and then that's it. Uh, you can toss it right up on your website without your own little tweaks. But if you hate writing and you don't know how to write, in a way that feels fun and engaging or maybe more intimate or maybe, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do, this is going to get you started. Um, let's just start to add a section, add a section on how grateful I am to the women who trust me to guide them through this vulnerable experience. Being able to capture the raw, true beauty of a woman is a privilege and an honor I don't take lightly. I understand boudoir photography can be nerve wracking for some, but I make sure to create a comfortable, safe and positive environment for all my clients. These are all the right things to say. These are all, if somebody's nervous about shooting with you, this is what they would want to hear. Now, is this the most personal about me page that you could craft? No. Is this digging as deep as you possibly could to really connect with your ideal client? Also no. But is this going to be able to help you craft a better about me section than you've ever had? Definitely. Okay, so we've got some Instagram captions, we've got some Facebook group ideas, we have our new About Me page. Can this help us with marketing? Let's see if we can come up with some marketing ideas for our boudoir photography business. So I'll ask nicely, come up with some marketing ideas for a boudoir photographer. All right, so these are pretty good marketing ideas. In fact, let's use ChatGPT to go a little bit further. So partner with a local clothing and lingerie boutique to offer special discounts and packages to their customers. So let's go ahead and have ChatGPT write an email to a local lingerie boutique for exactly this. Write an email to a local lingerie boutique offering a special discount to their customers and talk about why this would be a great partnership. This is again, a little formal. So make this less formal. 
and sound more exciting. All right, now, if this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Hope all is well with you. I came across your shop online and was blown away by the amazing selection of lingerie you offer. I think our businesses would make an amazing match. So many of our clients have asked for recommendations for local lingerie boutiques that cater to different sizes and styles. To be able to just type a few cues in and have this get pumped out and you can send this to all of the lingerie providers in your area, I just... There's no gauge for how incredible this is. The amount of time saving, the likelihood that they'll message you back to get over your fears of sending that email because what if they reject you? Now again, is this as personal as it could possibly be? Not really. If you were trying to write uh, an email to past clients, uh, telling them to you know refer friends and putting something out like this, would it be as effective? You know, probably not as like a professional photographer who's been doing this for nine years and has come up with their own scripts for what they found is the most effective, but this is gonna get you going. And that's right, this can even do blog posts. So I'm just gonna have it write me a blog post about this boudoir shoot, throw in a couple of different things about what the experience was like, what she brought, where my studio is, and let it write this entire blog post. Last week, I had the pleasure of working with a boudoir client at my studio in Los Angeles. Let me tell you, it was one of the most fun and enjoyable sessions I've had in a long time. This sounds just like me. First off, this client brought some amazing outfits to the shoot. We started off with sexy black lingerie, a two-piece set that looked stunning on her. This is insane. This is literally going to change how people run their photography businesses. Now, the person still has to be engaged. The person who's reading it still has to be interested. This isn't going to help your business if it's, you know, just filler. But yeah, I just can't believe this is, this is, we're living in the future. We're literally living in the future right now. But I wanna take a second and talk about some of the negatives, because it's not all sunshine and rainbows and ponies and unicorns, though it's pretty awesome. One of the negatives is that software like this will give the tools to people just starting out to enter the industry at a, at a much lower entry point, which is gonna make the market more saturated. So imagine now we have digital cameras, people didn't have to learn how to shoot with film, we've got autofocus, we've got Lightroom, we've got presets, we've got all these things that help people improve their photos. But now with software like this, people are gonna be able to much more quickly create quality copy on their website, interesting taglines, you know, decent emails, things like this that's going to, I think that's gonna essentially make it a little bit more difficult to stand out. Another negative is going to be that ChatGPT can basically sound more or less like a professional in whatever field you ask it to. So if somebody asks you a question, you can more or less respond in a very human crafted way as if you know what you're talking about, even if you don't. And that can be a little dangerous too, trying to prove that you're a professional when maybe you're not. Now in photography, this isn't as huge of a deal because people are still gonna wanna see your photos, they're still gonna wanna see the quality of your photos, and that's going to be a huge part of you know, why they would choose you over somebody else. At some point, it will be able to write like full marketing campaigns just by asking it to write a full marketing campaign or write an email sequence that's designed to you know, connect emotionally to this type of person to purchase this type of product or photography experience, and it'll be able to do that. That's like future down the road, which is kind of nuts to think about, you know, who, who knows what living in that space is gonna be like. But I'm really curious how you guys plan to use this tool in your photography business. I want you to post those in the comments so that we can all learn how to connect with our clients better, how we can improve the content of our website, how we can improve our marketing, how we can improve the experience that we can give our clients. Post in the comments how you guys plan to use this software. You know, at least right now, this is not going to replace tried and true methods that professionals have already gone down and had real world feedback from their clients. Now, is somebody who is just starting out with photography going to be able to use this and write better emails and have better marketing, higher quality website, and be able to book more clients using only this as somebody who's been in the business for 10 years. The person who's been doing it for 10 years has had feedback from clients over the years. They've learned what works and what doesn't. And for very, very specific 
niches in this space. And so while this is going to help people start from zero or maybe help give you some ideas, you're not gonna really know what works until you put it into practice. And that's going to be the advantage that people with actual experience have while using the software. That's it, you guys. It's a brave new world. I uh, can't wait to hear what you think and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go do is go to chat.openai.com. Now this is gonna ask... No, I'm literally just logging in. I'm just starting my tutorial right now. You can't do this to me right now. I'm, I'm about to teach all of these people how to use you.